Hi there, I'm Elgi Valovirta, and this time I'm gonna check out MXR's Echoplex preamp. Okay, so what is Echoplex preamp? This is separated preamp from the actual Echoplex tape delay, because it had this preamp in it. Echoplex was used by Van Halen, Jimmy Page, many, many others back in the day, and I guess probably nowadays do many use that. So this is a asymmetrical clipping, like one of my favorite, well, the favorite overdrive bus SD1. Asymmetrical clipping is kind of the same what happens in a tube preamp when tubes clip. It's asymmetrical, not symmetrical like for example tube screamers. This is very mild overdrive and I like this especially boosting completely clean amp or this could be used as an underdrive to reduce gain from a high gain amp which is pretty handy indeed. This is a transparent overdrive, so it doesn't really cut or boost any specific frequencies, but just the sound in general, or it can also underdrive the amp. Let me hook this up and I'll show you a few examples. Okay, so now I have the Blue Guitars Amp 1 Iridium set on a clean sound which sounds like this on a neck pickup. This is a P90. The guitar is LTD Deluxe and the pedal board, then to KHE, amp switcher, then to I have three amps I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna use now. Then the signals from the amps go to this KHE and then to Sandtrack Reactive Load, where I have my signature IR, Valo Virtuals, from Jens Bukren's lead and clean back. Then the signal goes to the Steinberg audio interface and recording this to Cubase and monitoring myself via my good old Genelec studio monitor. So, the clean sound. Okay, if we add the echo picks, now it's cranked. The gain is 10 and you can hear it's not much, but it adds just a nice touch. Like that. Then if you have a single coil, like Strat, you can, you know, Make this, this is a Duncan Custom, I believe. You can make this to single coil, but so usually bridge pickup, single coil bridge pickup, at least to me it sounds quite thin. Like that, and you can make the, it fatter with the echo blocks. Okay, that's one thing to use. That's that's where I actually like to use Echoplex a lot. It's, you can basically leave it leave it on, and it just that's certain warmth and fullness to your sound. Okay, let, let's check out Plexi. So another thing on Plexi. <laughs> the echo box.
you can hear, it, the gain is very mild, but it just fattens the sound. So now, now it's been cranked to 10, and if I turn it down, check out what happens. Now it's 5. Now it's 0, so it, it doesn't let anything through. So now it's on, so you can use it as an underdrive. But how this works really well with as an underdrive is with high gain amp. So let's switch to 5150. Alright, so this, you know, rock tone. Kick in the echo box. Listen what happens. So you can use it like as a second channel, like your clean channel, which is really handy. Okay, so let's just compare it to the, the SD, what happens. So now I have nothing on, 5150. And when I kick SD. SD just, you know, it cuts the lows a bit, makes everything tighter. It's a smooth mid-hump, not as big as on two screamers. And Echoplex cranked to 5150. So SD is a lot more aggressive. So Ecoplex is a mild, transparent overdrive that you can use just to fatten your sound when it's cranked. Because there's kind of like two settings, cranked or 8 to 10, between 5 and 7 doesn't really do, do much. And when you back, we use it with clean, when it's below 5, it actually there's not, not, not that much signal coming through, but with a high gain, it's, you know, from 6, noonish to back, it acts as an underdrive. Really cool, handy, small pedal that you can use various ways. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and informative. If you like, please thumbs up and subscribe. And you know the drill. Until next time, take care. Bye.